I bought in the Netherlands in the summer 2023 a few of these body cams. They were extremely cheap, um, 5 euros, say 5 dollars, and uh, I was interested and of course they were so cheap, so that was a good idea to do experiments with. Uh, the problem uh, proved to be that I could not get it properly working. Sometimes it wanted to work, sometimes it did not work. And there was a piece of paper here saying instruction with which you can say uh, had uh, IDs to set the camera on and off and this is this is one of them here uh, they say it is it works on 5 volt at 800 milliampere that's that's quite quite high but I also found uh, in the data sheet that it worked on 150 milliampere well I'm absolutely not sure and uh, say the only thing that I want to uh, tell is uh, that the way you can switch this camera on or off or make it uh, use it as uh, say camera to make photographs is completely illogical and when I say that I mean it uh, completely illogical uh, I did say many tests say 50 tests approximately to get it working and I finally got it working but um, the most important thing is at least as a hobbyist I could get it working by looking at the current that it takes of course they tell here this is uh, this is the, that camera uh, one of them tells it is 500 milliampere the other well one tells it's 150 milliampere but most important thing is of course when that camera in whatever way takes current you know that it is recording um, the video so the reason that's the reason why I mounted in this whole uh, set up a milliampere meter here. It must take approximately 150 milliampere. That's my approach. And here you see that uh, how I made it in practice. I've used a 12 volt power supply here, wall transformer, and important. Uh, I could only see that it worked when I had a milliampere meter connected to the circuit. So let's pan over the circuit somewhat. This is what I'm working with now. 12 volt power supply, bridge rectifier. Uh, I assume that inside in this wall transformer there is a 470 microfarad capacitor. Doesn't matter much. Uh, because I also use here a thousand microfarad capacitor that's here thousand microfarad and this is very very precise use a blue LED not another color another color uh, wanted to burn out uh, the blue LED has certain properties the best properties for this application here a resistor of 34 ohms and here a 3 0.3 ohm resistor and the whole idea is that we have a voltage drop here when current starts to flow and that current must be in the order of 150 milliampere so this is only the first vlog uh, perhaps uh, this evening I want to uh, make a second vlog uh, let's pan over somewhat
So the whole idea is, in this video, supply that camp with a 150 milliampere current and at the same time look at the LED. And that's the most important thing that I want to tell is this. Now it takes 150 milliampere and that's important. Because the, say, uh, whether you switch that camera on or off or to mode X or to mode I, uh, that's completely illogical. I could not find any, say, uh, logic into the, uh, say, pushing the knobs of that camera. And there are here two knobs, here, two knobs, one to the left and one to the right. The only more or less idea was that when you see the blue LED flicker three times and then everything goes out, the camera is recording. But I made here, with the help of that LED, uh, say, a mode where you can surely see that the camera is recording. When the LED burns, you surely know that the, the, uh, the camera, and when you have pushed it to 10 times or, or 15 times, uh, left and right, etc., etc., when that LED burns, you can be sure that the camera takes approximately 150 milliampere. And that means that it is a recording. I've tested it, not with a LED, by the way, but with my milliampere meter. You can also do that whole thing with your milliampere meter. So instead of this part of the circuit here, this part, you can use a milliampere meter. And then you can surely see if the uh, camera it takes enough current that means that it is working. On the other hand I found that this, uh, the supply voltage to the camera is very very critical. So uh, anyway thanks for watching. This was more or less the first vlog and when everything works fine I'm going to make a new video. important of this vlog make a circuit where you can see that the camera takes current perhaps it is 500 milliampere I don't know and I tested it over and over and it worked with 150 milliampere anyway